Welcome back to channel 11. I hope you are doing absolutely well. This is AT back with another video. So today is gonna be the review of the service OS based on Android 9.0 Pi for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So without any further ado, let's now get started. So here is my Redmi Note 5 Pro running the Cerberus OS. Let me first show you the about device section by going into the settings and the about phone. As you can see here is the about device, the android version is obviously 9.0 pi, the latest from google and as you can see I have enabled the navigation gesture that comes with this room, it also comes with on screen navigation buttons, I have disabled those, the security patch is of march 5 2019, that's a really great thing again and the kernel is again the same, the plus version 4.4.176, we have seen this kernel in pretty much so many other pi roms, I just don't remember the names of the rom but I have already seen this kernel. And the battery life is good in this room, I'll be talking about battery life and performance in the later part, so do watch this video until the end. So further down, here are a couple of other things like the build number and the cell Linux status which is permissive. So going back, going into the system panel, as you can see, pretty much all the standard stuff is present over here. Some of the customizations are present over here like the button and gestures, as you can see. This thing is also present in the customization option which I'll be showing you in a moment. System UI tuner also comes enabled. Digital well-being is also there pretty much the standard stuff as you can see but it's not showing that usage pattern or something like that that comes in the digital well-being as you can see it's not showing from yesterday i don't know what happened but yeah when i first booted the rom it was showing up but later it's not showing as you can see nothing is appearing over there so going into the security and location fingerprint scanner is working absolutely well no issues with anything let me show you the speed as you can see it's definitely faster than some other pi roms definitely faster as you can see it unlocks in a blink, that's a really nice thing, location also works fine. Going into the display option, here are a couple of standard stuff like the night light, let us try it out. As you can see, working absolutely well, you can change the intensity of it from there. So going back here are a couple of other things like the ambient display, always an option is not present over here, let us have a look at the customizations, there it might be. I'm not sure, let us see, because I didn't see the ambient display customizations over there. Double tap to wake is present in this room and it comes enabled by default, let us try it out. As you can see, works well, no issues with that. Here are a couple of customization options, as you can see. It's not that well organized over here, as you can see. First on the list is the navigations, that's the navigation bar. So we need to enable that, going into navigations. Disable navigation gestures and enable navigation bar as you can see here it is, later you can customize that if you want to. But for me navigation gestures works well. And next on the list is the UI customizations which is basically status bar customizations, lock screen customizations and also the theme. Here it is, it's based on light, you can put it to dark and dark transparent, there are a lot of options over here but most of them are not that different. Like if you put it on dark and black, there is no any major difference over there. Accent color can also be changed from there, no issues with that. Going into status bar, here are a couple of other things. Like the battery bar, you can enable that if you want to. That's a small line on the display, top of the display, which will show your charge. The network traffic monitor, you can enable that. And you can also enable 4G icon instead of LTE if you want to. So going back, here are a couple of other things. Like the animations, system extension it says, let us see. As you can see, here are a couple of other things, which I don't use probably. There is an option for wake up on double hand wave, let me see, ok let me put it down and see, not sure it's not working like it says proximity wake, wake up on double hand wave but it's not working guys as you can see. Nothing just happens over there, I think so it's not working, I'm not sure about that, let me disable that because if this stuff is not working then just disable it because it will drain the battery like anything if it is enabled. If it is working it's fine but here it's not working. So those are some of the customizations and yeah a couple of miscellaneous settings are also present. There are no any major customization options like not 100% customization options are available over here like the other rooms. Talking about Wi-Fi, Bluetooth etc everything is working fine, I didn't have any issues with those. So going back, talking about the performance, let me show you my last Antutu score and Antutu benchmark is working fine on this ROM. As you can see, pretty much the standard score again, 1,13,272. The Hawak OS was able to score around 1,22,000 if I'm not wrong. You can check the review, it's on my channel. Talking about performance in this ROM, there isn't any issue in terms of performance. It's smooth. If you keep lots and lots of apps in the memory also, it's smooth, not an issue with that. 
and PUBG gameplay was also pretty much similar to the other ROMs that's why I just didn't record that there is no any difference in terms of performance in PUBG you can refer to some of my other videos if you wanna see PUBG gameplay ultimately the performance in this ROM is good there should not be any issue with the performance there are no any noticeable lags in the system at times there are lags when you use it heavily like during extended usage there is slight lag which are not noticeable by the way but yeah while my testing they were there so talking about the camera application as you can see this is the stock camera app that looks like the google camera app standard google camera app not the modded one here it is 4k video recording let us try it out let me see the resolution first and going into settings the resolution and quality as you can see it's set on 4k let me try it out 4k is working fine as you can see no issues with that so let me show you my battery life really quick by going into the battery usage so going into battery and the battery usage as you can see here is my usage when i first booted the rom the device was somewhere around 95 percent of charge later i use youtube there the battery drain was somewhere around 15 percent this is not all accurate guys and moreover this isn't showing some of the used applications itself like pubg and some other I don't know why but it's not appearing over here it's not accurate at all later i used antidote benchmark and a couple of other applications that are there like the camera app etc their typical mixed usage the battery drain was somewhere around again some 15 percent not more than that 15 10 to 15 percent again i'm not 100 percent sure about the numbers but my experience with the battery life in this room was good that's because of the derp kernel big thanks to the developer of the derp kernel which is really a dupe kernel i should say the standby time in this room is really great it had drained around just 2% of battery for around 14 hours of standby which is really great some of the pyroms also drain around 10% of battery i have seen that and some also drain around 5% to 6% but not with this room thanks to the derp kernel again ultimately the battery life in this room is also good not an issue with that but the main question, should you use this ROM as a daily driver or there are better ROMs? So as per me, if you are a power user and if you want more performance, then go with the Havoc OS. It's really good because the anti score is also really great and even the gameplay, everything is really great. But don't take me wrong, even this ROM is really good. If you want, you can use this ROM as a daily driver, not an issue with anything. Apart from some of the common bugs which are listed in the forum, which are not any major bugs or like that, it will not interfere in your daily usage. That's obvious. So yeah, that was regarding the battery life in this room. So this was a quick little review of the Cerberus so OS based on Android 9.0 Pi for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also do follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm active over there. You can ask me any questions regarding tech. Also you'll get to know about my upcoming video on Instagram before it is live on YouTube. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description. This is all about technology 24 7 Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.